Wanna be a TH12 god? Well, you clicked on the right video. These are the top 5 best TH12 attack strategies. Master them, and you will easily 3 star any TH12 base thrown at you. And eventually become the best TH12 player in your clan. Alright, let's start the countdown without wasting your valuable time. At number 5. We have the easiest air attack of TH12. Zap Dragon. Works best on wide open bases. This is the general army composition. Make changes according to the base. Alright, now we usually take down two air defense with zaps. The third with heroes, and rush the last air defense with dragons in this strategy. But on bases like this one, it's better to zap out other key defenses than air defense. So what we will do here is, take down all these things with clever zap placement. Out of them, sweeper and air defense are our main targets. After that we will use an electro to clear all these buildings. And walk our heroes like this to narrow down the dragon path. And also to take down this air defense. It will result in this clean and narrow path for dragons. They will move like this. We will heal them through the infernos. Obviously, we can't ignore the town hall. We will use Yeti Blimp protected by Warden ability for it. Yetis will also take down this last standing air defense. After that, the dragons will clear the leftover base easily. That's the plan. Now let's put it together. Alright, let's start with the funneling on both sides to save up some time. Now observe my spell placement carefully to learn how to maximize zap value. With removing all these buildings, we are left with a ring of defenses. It looks like a donut with a hole in center. Now wait for our funneling troops to complete their job before deploying rest of our army. We can afford waiting because first, time will never be an issue with the dragons. Second, a bad funnel can absolutely mess this attack. Deployed the heroes on opposite flank as we planned. I am using an ice golem in front for an extra freeze. The dragons are out now. Look at the path we just created for them. There is no chance of them getting separated and mess this attack. Now we just have to time the blimp with warden ability to secure the town hall takedown. Dragons doesn't need a rage at TH12. They have a lot of firepower when deployed in a pack. We just have to preserve their HP. So it's better to use heal rather than rage spell for dragons at TH12, especially against multi infernos. But we have to use rage for yeti blimp or else they might fall short. Keep that in mind. Alright, there is nothing left in this phase. So let's finish this one and move to the next strategy. At number 4, we have the best air attack of TH12. Blizzard Lavaloon works best on compact bases. This is the general army composition. The CC troops will remain same every time. Alright, the first thing we need to do is find a perfect spot to land our blimp. Here on this base, landing our blimp here will provide the best blizzard value. Super wizards can take down all these things. Out of them, Town Hall, Eagle, and CC are main target. After that, we will deploy our heroes here to move this way and take down the enemy queen. That will result in this straight path for the Lavaloon. They will move like this. We will use Warden ability to go through core multi and freeze spells for back end multi. Simple plan. Let's do the attack now. Alright, let's start the attack with Blimp Drop. Always deploy Lava Hound first to clear all the traps and distract defenses so they don't target our blimp. Once blimp reaches the target location, manually open the blimp and drop invisibility right after it before the defenses start targeting our troops. Use rage and remaining invisibility spells one by one every four seconds afterwards. I usually carry super wall breaker in blimp, so the super wizards can move through the compartments and get more value. I recommend you to watch this video for full blizzard guide.
our heroes are out now. We just have to make sure they go for the queen with little bit of funneling. As I always say, throw in an ice golem with them for more sui value. Always bring couple of headhunters as a backup plan for queen. You can also use it with heroes like I did here. Alright, let's start the Lalo as time is running out. The good thing about Lalo is, it doesn't require any funnel. Just create a simple path, and you are good to go. Don't deploy all the loons at once. Deploy them in small packs of two or three surgically on defenses. Hold on to hand full of balloons to clear out side defenses. So the main pack can move easily through the middle. Use haste spells to quickly approach splash defenses. And freezes to protect loons against heavy damage. Alright, this attack is done. Now let's move to the next strategy. At number 3, we have the easiest attack of TH12. Zap Witches. Works on almost any TH12 base. This is the general army composition. You doesn't need to make any changes. Now this strategy is very simple. Just zap out any two multi-infernos, in case all them are set on multi. If not, zap out only multi-infernos and leave the singles. Here on this base, I am choosing this too. As zapping them would automatically create a path towards town hall and remaining multi. After that, deploy three golems like this on opposite side of town hall. And drop the line of witches behind them. Once the witches clear out side buildings, we can then deploy heroes to go in the core. We will use super wall breaker to open initial walls. Log launcher will follow this path to give them access to multi and town hall. Our witches will flank out to the outside, and heroes will clear the core. We will use warden ability to go through multi. And we will use rage spell on CC yetis to secure the town hall. That's the plan. Let's do the attack now. Alright, let's start with zapping out infernos as we plan. With clever spell placement, we can also grab the surrounding defenses with zaps. I will provide this app chart of TH12 in the pin comment. So check that out. Now deploy the golems, followed by witches as we planned. Give them some time to create a bit of funnel before deploying rest of our army. Alright, the heroes and log launcher are out now. Don't misplace the log launcher, or it will not open the expected compartments. By this point, our troops will get divided into three groups. With most of the witches going to flanks. Hey, you like this video? I also made one for the TH11, so check that out after watching the top two strategies. I will link that video in pinned comment. Even though headhunters are not necessary in this strategy, I like to use them to get through enemy heroes easily. Don't get panicked if one of the flanks dies out mid-attack. Actually, it is very common in zap witch attacks. The remaining groups will come across and easily clear the leftover buildings. With Town Hall going down, there is nothing left on this base to stop this army. Up next is my favorite attack of TH12. So don't click away now. At number 2, we have one of the best attack of TH12. Queen Charge Hybrid. Works on any TH12 base. This is the general army composition. You can swap SB with Flame Flinger on some bases. Now this are the major threats to the strategy. We will charge our queen to take down CC, along with at least one of this major defenses. Here on this base, we will push her into this compartment. And with the help of super wall breakers, we will try to move her into this multi. She will take down all these things. Out of them, this are our main targets. That will create this L-shaped path for the hybrid. They will move like this. We will use King and SB on opposite flank to narrow down this path. We will use heal spells for hybrid and rage spells for queen. Warden ability will get us through the town hall blast. Understood the plan? Let's put it together. 
Alright, let's start with queen charge. I am creating a little bit of funneling to push her into that compartment. We have to wait for this mortar to go down, or else wall breaker will target this walls. Use Coco Balloon ahead of healers to trigger black mines. Always cover healers into rage spells. That will boost their healing output significantly. Rage is mainly for healers, not the queen. Try to cover both of them, but the healers are the priority. With poison and rage spell intact, queen will fight off any CC troops easily. Queen charge is the most important part of this attack. She has two jobs. First, take down CC and any major defense. Second, create a pothing for hybrid. If you get this right, the three stars is almost guaranteed. Notice how I am using that yeti to push the queen into multi. Alright, let's deploy king and sb, and start the hybrid as time is running out. We will use remaining spells in core to protect our troops against heavy damage. With the queen getting more than expected value, we can even swag some of them. King and SB will make sure they head towards the town hall. Alright, before moving to the number one, I want to show you one honorable mention. This strategy is also very powerful and easy, but it didn't make it into the list. Because it only works on selected type of bases. As an honorable mention, we have the best Electro Dragon attack of TH12. Electro Drag Bat. Works best on single Inferno compact bases. This is the army composition. Make changes according to the base. Now, these are the major threats to the bats. We usually use Electros for Town Hall. And with heroes try to clear most of these splash defenses. We can overwhelm the back end with bats after that. That's how this strategy usually works. So we will dive our heroes like this to clear all these things. We will use a flame flinger on this one to secure the eagle. It will also clear all these things. Electros will be deployed here to rush the town hall and move this way. It will result in this narrow and straight path for the bats. They will move like this. Freezes will get us through remaining splash defenses easily. That's the plan. Let's do the attack now. Alright, let's start with deploying the flame flinger. It is very slow, so we have to wait for it to clear a few buildings. Usually we use stone slammer with this strategy. But on bases like this, where we can get 2 to 3 splash defenses with flinger. We can switch to it. Also, avoid using flinger on bases where entire base is covered with expos. They won't get enough value on them. Alright, let's create a bit of funnel on both sides before deploying heroes. I am throwing in couple of ice golems for extra protection to heroes. As I always said, heroes are very powerful. Don't waste their value by just walking them outside the base. Instead, funnel them to take down important defenses in air attacks. I am using one electro dragon early to make sure rest of them don't go outside. The electros are out now. As we always do, early warden ability with rage spell to go into core with high momentum. CC will never be an issue with electros, so we can ignore them. Unfortunately the wall breaker didn't open that multi compartment. So we have to clear it with electros. Usually, bad attacks are not very powerful at TH12. Mainly because of the town hall and three multis. But on such compact bases, this strategy will work like a charm. Alright, let's finish this one, and move to the best TH12 attack. And at number 1. The best attack of TH12. Super Witch Smash. Works on any TH12 bases. This is the general army composition. Make changes if you want. Now there are many variations of super witch attacks are used on TH12. But the one with zaps is the easiest and most powerful of them all. So we will cover that here. 
it is very simple. First, point out all the major defenses on the base. We will zap out one of them with surrounding buildings to create a funnel point. Here on this base, we will zap out this multi-inferno. With clever spell placement, we can take down all these things. After that, we will do a warden walk to clear this buildings and solidify the funnel. It will result in this narrow L-shaped path for the super witches. They will move like this. We will also use queen with them. King and SP will be used on opposite flank to further narrow down this path. We will use rage spells to power through the core. Jump spell here will help our troops to move towards town hall. Enough planning. Let's do the attack now. Alright, let's start with the warden walk to save up some time. Zapped out that inferno as we planned earlier. Now warden walk is very powerful at th12. We can even use it to snipe key defenses sometimes. But it requires a lot of practice to master. Just like a queen charge. We can give him up to one minute. More time than that in warden walk will end mostly as a time fail. Baby dragon on opposite flank will make sure king and sb stays outside of the base. The funnel looks solid. So let's deploy the main pack. They will also lure warden and healers towards them. Coco loons ahead of healers as usual. CC and enemy heroes will never be an issue for super witches. Just bring a poison and you are good to go. Hey, let me tell you one big secret about excelling at th12. You see, witches are very powerful at town hall 12. Whether it's regular witch or super witch, they can crush any th12 base effortlessly. So when you see an open base with isolated inferno compartments or single inferno base, just use the zap witches and on compact multi-inferno bases. Go with super witches. Both these attacks are very easy and powerful. You will hardly fail 1 out of 50 times with them. So this are the top 5 th12 attack strategies. Let me know in the comments if you want full guides on them. And don't forget to check the th11 top 5 list. I will see you there.